Pikachu, the yellow mouse Pokemon, has become an icon for the series and is widely recognized for its lightning fast speed and thunderbolt attacks. Because of its popularity, scientific discoveries have been named after this yellow mouse Pokemon. In 2008, the Department of Developmental Biology at the Osaka Bioscience Institute discovered a retinal protein and named it Pikachurin. It can also be referred to by its formal name as EGF-like fibronectin type 3 and laminin G-like domain containing protein. Pikachurin is important for the transmission of visual information from the retina to the brain through the central nervous system. Typically, photoreceptors within the eye transmit their signals via bipolar interneurons to the basal ganglia in the brain. Pikachurin is able to increase the speed of the transmission signals because it is able to form connections between the photoreceptors and the bipolar interneurons. It achieves this through the binding of synaptic proteins called dystroglycans on photoreceptors. Without Pikachurin, the signals would reach more slowly and it would affect the transmission and also visual function. It was named after Pikachu because the Pokemon itself is known for its speed, agility, and quick attacks, just like the protein. Ironically, this study was performed on mice models where mice brains were dissected and imaged under a microscope. Mice with the deleted Pikachurin gene showed visual impairments. Diseases linked to Pikachurin causes congenital muscular dystrophies. However, this is not the only protein that was named after the Japanese franchise. In 2005, a protein called the POK erythroid myeloid ontogenic factor, Pokemon for short, was found by the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. The protein is a proto-oncogene, which means it is able to cause cancer. When gene mutations occur on Pokemon, it causes the proteins to become cancerous and grow uncontrollably. This is because Pokemon is involved with differentiating stem cells, and when mutations occur, they can cause cells to proliferate. Due to this finding, Nintendo threatened with legal action against the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. The name was then changed to ZBTB7 to prevent legal complications and to protect the rights of Nintendo. These genes are all important in the human body and it is nice to know that Pokemon live inside us, quite literally. Scientists are still professionals that work very hard. We must thank the scientists that named these new scientific discoveries and providing us with new knowledge about life on Earth. We can also thank them for their humor.